Namaste. With immense pleasure and enthusiasm, I welcome you all to the celebration of the 10th year of the Great India Festival, Maha Bharat Utsav 2021. I am Aravita Agarwal, your Masters of Ceremonies for tonight. Did you know that the Great India Festival has been recognized in the top 40 festivals in North America? and it is supported by passionate volunteers and festival partners and sponsors. This has truly become a marquee event that gives us all an opportunity to experience our rich Indian culture, learn its traditions, and enjoy a variety of art forms. TGIF has also become a platform to all the established and budding artists to showcase their talents to a huge audience. The challenge of being socially distanced was taken as an opportunity by the Great India Festival team to connect with each other through expressions of art. Initiate our festival by staying close to our age old tradition. The festival begins with the ceremonial lighting of the lamp. Let us all bow to the light of the lamp, which brings auspiciousness, health and prosperity in our environment. It gives me immense pleasure to invite Kathy and John Venick to do the honors of lighting of the lamp. Kathy and John have been long-standing community contributors and are the founders of Canadians Sharing Locally and Globally. It's a charitable organization that has raised almost half a million dollars for projects in Sripuram, South India. We welcome you, Kathy and John. Thank you, Kathy and John, for joining us today. It's wonderful to have you with us. And thank you for taking our ceremonial lighting of the Lang ceremony outside and letting us experience the Canadian summer <laughs> for once. Now, I would like to extend a warm welcome to our guests of honor, Mary France Lalonde. Yes. We are truly honored to have you with us today. Mary Frost Lalonde is a parliamentary secretary of Minister of Economic Development and Official Languages. She was first elected as a member of parliament for Orleans in 2019. She has served as a member of the Standing Committee on Veteran Affairs and Standing Committee on Official Languages. Previously, Ms. Lalonde enjoyed a successful career in social work where she dedicated her leadership and skills to bringing positive change in her community. She was awarded the 2010 New Business of the Year Award from Orleans Chamber of Commerce for her work as co-owner and executive director of Portobello Manor. Ms. Yeah, no, Lalonde has been an active I just it. I know, it's nice. But it's going to and earned a leading woman building communities award oh, from the government of Ontario in 2012. It gives me immense pleasure to welcome you to our festival, ma'am. And I would like to invite you to say a few words. Thank you very much. Hello, everyone. Bonsoir, tout le monde. Habsuke seho. Namaste. What a milestone this year in celebrating the 10th anniversary of the Great India Festival. Always such a pleasure to join you at this time of the year to highlight the wonderful culture and heritage our Indian Canadian community brings to Orleans, our city and our country. And I have to say every time I witness the lighting of the lamp, it brings me peace and hope. I love what it represents to lead from ignorance to knowledge and from darkness to light. There's nothing more truthful and powerful Thank you for your gracious invitation as we are at the end of your four-day celebrations. I know your culture, cultural program that is closing the festival will be filled with great entertainment and music. 
Your continued contributions make our community vibrant, and I deeply value the rich culture you bring to our national capital. The pandemic has been hard on a lot of us, and as we are seeing light, I am hopeful that next year we will be gathering in person to celebrate the Indian culture. It will be an honor to be among you in person to celebrate the Great India Festival 2022. I have to say that I unfortunately have to leave at one point of your celebration due to previous engagements, but it's been a pleasure to see all of you. Enjoy the rest of your program. Thank you, Mary France. That is, thank you for your encouraging words. And we also hope that we are able to see each other in person, uh, having a grand celebration, and we're really praying for that. So thank you for instilling that hope in us that we'll be able to do that uh, next year, hopefully. Thank you so much. Now I would like to invite Professor Rao Nanduriji, Chair of the Great India Festival, to say a few words. Thank you. I just want to take this opportunity to thank our distinguished attendee, Mary France Lalonde, MP for Orleans, and John and Kathy Wenak for their lighting of the lamp. As Mary France was mentioning, it is a great opportunity for cultures to intermingle in a multicultural society and get to know each other, accept each other, respect each other, grow with each other, so that we build an extraordinarily strong Canada as an example for the whole world. John and Kathy have been involved with India for many years. They built up bonds of friendship and amity and dedication to the service of both Canada and India. I cannot say enough for their generosity of spirit and intent and dedication. I thank them both from the bottom of my heart on behalf of the board of directors of TGIF. It's an extraordinary pleasure for me to continue to serve this community. And it is an opportunity for all of us to remember our goals and vision, which is to build a strong and united Canada so that we can be an example for the whole world, as I said before. Thank you so much and good luck for the rest of the program this evening. I will be coming back to thank one and all at a later stage this evening. Thank you. Thank you, Professor Rao Nanduriji. It's always so nice to hear you. And uh, when I hear you speak, it's always like you're giving a vision and an idea for the Great India Festival, not just uh, for as a festival, but, but us as individuals. So thank you for always guiding us. And we look for your kind words. Thank you. And you know that no event is possible without its supporters, as Professor Rao Nanduriji oh, just said. Okay. So me. now on behalf of the Great India Festival, I would like to thank the festival partners who support us through grants. Ontario Ministry of Heritage, Sport, Tourism and Culture Industries, Canadian Heritage, City of Ottawa, High Commission of India. Our gold sponsors, Phoenix Homes and Kilika IT Solutions. Our culinary partners, Thali, Coconut Lagoon, India Curry and Kebab House. Our media partners who have promoted our events throughout the year, CKCU FM, Asian Sounds and CBC Ottawa. Our cultural partners, a Canadian Centre of Mindful Habitats, Saraswati Society of Dance and Music and our community partners, Indo-Canadian Community Centre. Without your ongoing love and support, this uh, event would not have been possible. Let's take a look at a short video from our festival partners.
Thank you again to our sponsors and supporters. Our four day event is coming to a conclusion with grand celebrations. And today we are focusing on exploring South of India. From exquisitely carved temples to colonial charm to breathtaking hill stations, stunning backwaters and beautiful beaches, South India offers it all. The peninsular region of the Indian subcontinent, South India, is surrounded by the Indian Ocean touching the south, the Bay of Bengal on its eastern coast, while the Arabian Sea kisses its shore on the west. Constituting the states of Tamil Nadu, Karnataka, Andhra Pradesh, Telangana, and Kerala. So let's sit back and enjoy a beautiful journey of Southern India art and artists. Now it is showtime. We have an incredible line of artists to entertain you tonight. We begin the celebrations with ever beautiful and elegant Bharat Natyam dance performance by Sina Nair. Bharat Natyam is one of the oldest, most popular forms of classical dance that originated from the temples of Tamil Nadu. Did you know that Bharat Natyam is part of the five dance forms of ancient India that signifies the five elements of earth and human body. Very interesting. This Bharatnatyam dance will be performed by Mrs. Sina Nair. She is an ardent follower of Indian classical dance performed in many prestigious festivals in India. She started learning Bharatnatyam at the age of four under the guidance of Guru Mrs. Ratnam Janardhan Nagpur. Currently, she teaches online and in-person Bharatnatyam classes and Ritangana School of Dance with students across Canada, India, and US, USA. And you'll be very happy to know that Sina Nair is actually a new resident of Ottawa, and this is going to be her debut performance with us. So I'm actually really excited about this. So let's welcome Sina Nair. Hello everyone, I'm Sina Nair. I would like to thank the TGIF organizers for giving me this opportunity and platform to perform today. I'm presenting a Pushpanjali, which is an invocatory dance in the Bharatnatyam Marga. It is set to Ragam Nidhi Madhi and Adi Tala. It is followed by a Padam, which is set to Ragam, Saveri and Rupakatala. The Padam depicts a Khandita Naika who is angry and offended at her beloved's faithlessness. Thank you. Tam, 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 take a dinner, tam, tam. Take a jump, 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 take a jump
So 
for your debut performance in Ottawa. This was truly wonderful. And thank you again for taking us outside to experience Bharatanatyam. And after our journey through the dance forms of South India, let's move towards listening to some melodious tunes. Our next performance is by vocalist, Dr. Rashmi Venkateshwaran for Nado Pasana, a sit down musical concert. Rashmi ji has been learning uh, and studying Carnatic music since the age of 12. She has trained with the renowned musicians for countless years before moving on to practicing with her sister, another world-renowned artist. She has had many experiencing performing concerts and workshops in countries such as Canada, USA, and India. 
She also has jazz and light classical music knowledge and sing in these genres as well. We have also been lucky to have had um, Rashmi Ji perform in many different days at the Great India Festival. And Rashmi Ji will be performing Nado Pasna, which is the worshiping and meditating through music. Her accompanying musicians include Sayoham Alihan on violin, Amresh Parmeshwaran on Nridangam, and Ravi Singh Ji on tabla. And it's also important to know that Rashmi Ji will be joining us after her concert uh, to answer any questions and also talk about her concert. So let's welcome her.
Wow, what a treat to be able to witness this beautiful performance. Thank you so much, Rashmi ji. And we have a pleasure of, she has joined us online. So I would request you to please turn your video on and, and talk to us for a few minutes if you have some time. Oh, uh, oh, give me one second. I'm just trying to get my camera to work. Oh, just, um, uh, yeah, no, I'm just going to adjust the video settings. No problem. So I think this should be better now, right? Yes, it's wonderful. And you look gorgeous. Thank you so much. Anita ji, I just want to say, I want to, so I want to start out by saying if there's anybody that has any questions uh, or anything, please feel free to either, uh, I don't know how you're um, handling it, but in the chat or if they're allowed to unmute, I'm not really sure. Yeah. But as we're waiting, I want to start by saying uh, you have done such a spectacular job of emceeing, <clears throat> not just today, but also yesterday, and when you sing, you have such a beautiful voice. So uh, I'm so happy virtually I got to meet you. Um, I really want to take this opportunity uh, not only to thank uh, Sri Balagaru, I, I want to thank Rupa Ji. Um, I want to thank all the organizers of the Great India Festival for giving me such an amazing platform and allowing me to perform, not just this evening, but also this morning with our wonderful, wonderful artist, Shirish Katale. Uh, it was really amazing to watch him work and I was mesmerized. So I hope all of you had a chance to see that because he was truly amazing. Mm -hmm. And I also want to congratulate the uh, Great India Festival organizational team, especially the program managers. What a brilliant four days it has been. I have not been able to take my eyes off the screen. Each and every program has been spectacular in its own way. Uh, selection of programs has been varied and just, just exquisite. I, I, I really, I have to say, I was so happy. I sat without moving and watched every single programming session. And I really hope that a lot of people watched. And I'm sure there are going to be a lot of rewatches. People will go back and watch many of the programs again because they were truly, truly amazingly done. So much talent, so much talent uh, in India, in Canada, and uh, what an amazing platform that you've provided for Absolutely. all I, that. I Thank echo you. each and every word you're saying to yourself, Rashmi Ji, because I have truly enjoyed watching each of your performances last couple of days, listening to your melodious voice. And you have such a great uh, accompanying musicians with you that bring the whole scene together. And it's such a treat uh, to be able to, especially at this point in time, when we're not able to go out and engage, uh, you know, socially with other people that we can actually witness this beautiful art like right at our doorstep and i think we're really lucky that you're in ottawa here with us <laughs> so thank you i want i want to give a huge shout out to seo nahilan seon is an amazingly gifted talented violinist he is upcoming i wish everybody to encourage him so much talent and such a wonderful human being, such an intelligent person and just so gifted musically. So I think we should all be encouraging him. He is so kind to me. Anytime I ask him to perform, he always says yes. So my heartfelt thanks to Seon. Uh, my son Amrish uh, accompanied me on Rudangam. Uh, anytime I ask, he says yes again. So uh, he's a, a wonderful talent. Again, these young talents, they need a stage to perform. So uh, I tried it as much as possible. I want the young talent to show, to shine through. And I have to give a very, very big thanks to Srimati Kasturi Mishra and Sri Ravi K. S. K. Singh. Uh, first of all, for the kindness that they extended uh, in this time of this pandemic, I'm sure you know it was almost impossible 
to get a hall or a studio in which we could perform and they very graciously opened their home to us uh, and it was so kind of Reviji to agree to accompany in the program. I think it gave such a beautiful flavor uh, to have um, the tabla along with the mridangam and uh, Reviji did an, a fabulous, he's a, such a brilliant tabla player. So uh, it was very, very, very kind of him to agree to accompany and we enjoyed. Uh, I hope you could see that we were having a good time when we were performing. That's so very um, it came through that you all were performing and everything was uh, coming up in sync and it, it beautifully laid out with each other, each of the voice and instrument had a beautiful overlay with each other. So that was the best part. But I have a question for you. I want I want you to talk uh, to us a little bit about your concert because this was the Nado, uh, Nado Pasana as a very special concert. So talk to us a little bit about that. So for me, um, Carnatic music is more than just music. I know for many people, it's a beautiful art form, which it is, there's no question about that. It is, India is unique in that it is the only country in the world that has two completely distinct classical musical art forms. It is, we have a great distinction in this. And although there's so much similarity, there are distant, dis distinguishing factors between the two styles that render them unique in their own senses. So while Carnatic music had, I mean, we could go talking about Carnatic music for the next seven, 10 days, but obviously I don't want to take too much uh, time, but um, what, makes Carnatic music very dear to my heart is that I don't consider it to be only music. To me, uh, it is my puja. Mm. When I uh, sing, it's that's my form of prayer. So for me, singing is my meditation. Mm. Uh, it's my yoga. It's my prayer. Uh, it's more than just music for me. So um, Carnatic music is very dear for me because of course, most of the lyrics of the compositions are indeed um, spiritually based. So uh, it is not unlike Bollywood music or even um, many Hindustani compositions like Khayals or Tumris, which may not necessarily be devotionally based. Uh, and so this is what I tried to showcase, not only in Nada Basana, uh, but also in the morning's program, is that the Bhakti Margam for me is uh, something that I find so personally appealing. And so for me, um, when I sing Carnatic music, it's more than just music. I, I, I lose myself in the music. And so for me, that's why I wanted to call this program Nado Pasana. It is literally Bhakti Margam. It is a way of praying to God through music. Wow, that's that's very beautiful, and and I can really connect to that because I actually feel it when you're singing. I I connect to your bhakti, and I, I'm sure other people, our audience, also connected with your devotion and spirituality through your singing and through your art. So thank you so much for joining us and bringing your amazing self with amazing set of musicians. Um, and we hope to keep seeing you again and again every year after year at the Great India Festival. Thank you so much. And once again, thank you to all the amazing audience members who uh, attended and who listened to all the programs, not just mine, but to all the programs. Thanks to all of you, because without the audience, of course, the performers uh, have very little motivation. So thank you again to all of you. Thank you, Arunita Ji. What a beautiful, uh, please continue. I'm listening to you. <laughs> okay, thanks so much. Namaskar. Okay, thank you, Rashmi Ji, for joining us. This was absolutely, uh, we had a treat of watching you sing, but we also had a treat of interacting with you. So, so double thank you to you. From meditating through music, now expressing devotion through dance. Our next presentation is a Dasha Vataram, a Bharatnatyam dance performed by Guru Shri Abhyakaram Krishna and Srimati Preeta Prabhu. The name Bharatnatyam is known to be derived from its foundational elements, bhava, expression, raga, melody, and tala, rhythm, and natya, dance. The Bharatnatyam dancers uses a combination of rhythmic footwork, graceful body movements, 
gestures and expressions to narrate stories that spark and engage the observer's imagination and convey deep spiritual ideas. Traditionally, it is accompanied by a Carnatic music. This dance form has inspired many breath inspired by many breathtaking temple architectures and paintings of India. Guru Sri Abhyakaram Krishnan is artist, choreographer, lyricist, and nuttavanar. Sri Krishnan is renowned Doordarshan rated artist and has won many prizes and honors in national and state level competitions. He's also trained many successful students. He is the founder of Puduvai Bharatale, in which he trains a team of professional Bharatnatyam artists. And this is really important to everyone. It's fresh off the news. Their team has recently received honorary doctorate from International Tamil University in the United States in appreciation of his service in the field of Bharatnatyam. That's absolutely stellar and congratulations to you and your whole team. He will be presenting Dashavataram showcasing 10 incarnations of Lord Vishnu. It has been performed by uh, Guru Sri Abhyakaram Krishnan and Srimati Preeti Prabhu. Let's enjoy. Narayana Om Namo Narayana
யார் அங்கே நாராயணன் என்று சொன்னது யார் நாங்கள் மைந்தன் ஐயனே அழைத்து அவனை அதோ அங்கே அங்கும் இருப்பார் இதோ இங்கே இங்கும் இருப்பார் இதோ இங்கே எங்கும் நிறைந்திருப்பார் நாராயணன் அப்படியா
Heartfelt thanks to both of you for an absolutely mesmerizing performance. It was breathtaking to see the visuals accompanied with incredible music. Thanks to both of you again. From the state of Tamil Nadu, let us take you to God's own country, Kerala, to enjoy a scintillating Mohiniattam dance performance. Mohiniattam, the dance of an enchantress, is a traditional dance which originated in the state of Kerala in India. It is named after Mohini, the Hindu mythological beauty, known for its depiction of feminine love in many forms, such as divine, maternal, and carnal. It was originally practiced by Devadasis, the temple dancers in Kerala. This, Mohini, this Mohini Attam is choreographed by Mala Pishoradi, trained in the dance form of Mohini Attam, Bharatnatyam and Kathakali under many gurus and continues her artistic journey under the guidance of her gurus of renowned Kamala Mandalam Leelama and is graded artist with Doordarshan Kendra. Mala is an associate director of Adi Shankara Academy of Performing Arts, a dance academy established in Mississauga, Ontario in 2004, along with her brother-in-law Sri Rajesh Pishoradi, Mala has performed in several dance productions. Please welcome Mala Ji and her students, Sindhu Rajan, Rinda, and Sunita Vasudevan for this performance. Namaste. I am Mala Pisharodi. It is a great pleasure I introduce my students. I would say three inspirational women. Sindhu Rajan, Sunita Vasudevan and Brinda Kandanjata whose passion for learning this beautiful art form of Mohini Atam, in spite of the many challenges 
that we face as working women fulfilling many roles in life simply amazes me. We extend our sincere gratitude to Bharat Utsa for inviting us for this beautiful festival. Brinda, Sindhu and Sunita will be performing two pieces today. The first one is the traditional Jitiswaram in Ragam Chinchiruti set to Aditalan. This piece has been sung by Sri Trishur Raji and Natvangam has been done by Guru Srimati Kalamandalam Leelama teacher. The second piece is the evergreen Vande Mataram written by Sri Bankim Chandra Chatterjee. This song has been sung by Sangeeta Kati Kulkarni. Hope you all enjoy our humble presentation. Namaste. Yeah. 
thank you for this incredible performance. Vande Matram is the perfect way for us to celebrate India completing its 75 years of independence this month. Ladies and gentlemen, next we take you to the land of for its silks, spices and sandalwood, Karnataka. We are pleased to welcome pa Pavitra Krishnamurti to present Yakshaganam. Yakshaganam is an Indian theatrical performance. It is used to present historical stories of Indian mythology. It was originally a night long play where only men played all the roles. It includes musicals, dancings, and dialogues. There are actors, musicians, and a narrator. The stage panning and execution can be compared to opera. The dancers wear colorful costumes and intricate hair pieces. The songs coordinated with background music with a diverse set of instrument reflect the pace of the ploy. Talking about our performer today, Pavitra's journey in Yakshagana commenced at the age of nine under the guidance of acclaimed guru, Sri Srinivas Sasthan at Karnataka Kala Darshini, Bangalore, India. She has blossomed into an artist of rare merit and dedication with precise footwork, dialogues, and nuanced abhinay. Her subtle yet communicative expressions have won the admirations of many. Pavitra is a prominent member of the performing troupe of Karnataka Kala Darshini Bangalore. She's also the recipient of scholarship from Karnataka Sangeet Nritya Academy, Karnataka government. She has been seen as an integral part of the Rasika Dance Ensemble, and she has performed in some of the most prestigious festivals in India and abroad. Let's welcome her. Namaskar. I'm Pavitra Krishnamurti, a Yakshagana artist, disciple of Sri Srinivas Sasthan and Sri Matigauri Sasthan, directors of Karnataka Kala Darshini and Karnataka Mahila Yakshagana, Bangalore. In a few minutes, I will be presenting a small excerpt from the Bhagavata Purana in the Yakshagana format. But before that, I would like to take some moments to express my gratitude to the Almighty and my Gurus and thank Vichinama and Suryendranathya for providing me with such a great opportunity to be able to showcase this art form in the prestigious platform of the Great India Dance Festival. Also, I would like to extend my thanks to my family and friends who have been a really great support system throughout my journey in dance. Presenting Yakshagana. Hope you enjoy. Yakshagana, a traditional art form, bears its roots from the coastal regions of Karnataka. There are no clear cut evidence about its origin. However, it is said to have originated in the 12th century during the Vaishnava Bhakti movement. Being a classical art form with folk liberty, Yakshagana imbibes all the essence of the Natya Shastra. A wholesome art form, Yakshagana does justice to all the Angika, Vachika, Aharya and the Sattvika Abhinaya. The stories enacted in Yakshagana are based on epics, the Ramayana, Mahabharat, the Devi Purana and the Bhagavata. In the present times, Programs on historical episodes and social awareness schemes are also being enacted. An episode in Yakshagana is called a Prasanga and a Prasanga has two teams of artists called Mummela and the Himmela. Mummela consists of the artists who dance and deliver dialogues on the stage adorned with the most colorful and vibrant makeup and costumes some of which are made of softwood and decorated with gold foils, mirrors and a lot of colourful threadwork. Himmela consists of a lead singer called the Bhagavata who is also the director and the narrator of the entire prasanga. 
He is accompanied by a few percussionists on Mridanga, Chande and Tatala. Today, with the blessings of the Almighty and my Gurus, I will be presenting a scene from an episode called Jambavati Kalyana in the Badagutittu style of Yakshagana. Taken from the Bhagavata Purana, this is a story of Lord Sri Krishna who is on the quest to redeem himself from the false accusations of stealing the divine Shamantakaratna from King Satrajita of Vrindavan, who depends on that stone for the prosperity of his entire kingdom. This quest takes an unexpected turn and leads Krishna to the cave of the bear king Jambavan, who is now in the possession of that divine stone. A duel breaks out between the two and the invincible Jambavan is finally defeated. The defeat suffered at the mere hands of a human makes Jambavan question the true identity of Krishna. And Krishna, as promised to Jambavan in Treta Yuga during the Rama avatar, blesses him with a glimpse of Lord Rama. In the end, Jambavan repents to have fought and struck his Lord and gives his daughter Jambavati in marriage to Krishna along with the Chamantaka Ratna. Now, I will be enacting a scene from this prasanga. Let's see how the story unfolds when Krishna and Jambava come face to face with each other for the very first time. Vigneshaya Saraswati Parvati Gurave Namaha Dakshina Murti Devanam Sakala Kari Vijayi Bhava
ಅಂತಹ ಪೌರುಷ ನಿನ್ನಲ್ಲಿದೆಯೋ ನಾನೇನು ಮಾಡಿದ್ದೇನೆ ಗೊತ್ತೇ
applause for Pavitra, please. From Southern Dances, we take you to the strings of music. I hope you all have enjoyed this cultural journey of East, West, North, and South of India. We may divide the nation in different directions, but we stand for oneness with ourselves and the world. It's truly nostalgic for me to summarize the events for the whole year. As TGIS believes that celebration in life is ongoing, and in the same spirit for our 10th year, we offered multiple events throughout the year. We started with a weekly series of Dasho Jwala that showcased classical dances and music from renowned artists on Omni2 television and social media. We engaged our young and budding artists and hosted Bharatotsav International Competition. We have been offering around 10 yoga sessions a week and special workshop to practice holistic well-being. And the celebration in March just got bigger with Maha Vasantotsa, follow, followed by Asian Heritage Day, Yoga Summit on International Yoga Day, Multicultural Day, and now concluding with our grand celebrations in August. Well, to make all these events possible, no event would have been possible without its supporter. Now, on behalf of the Great India Festival, I would like to thank the festival partners who support us through grants. Ontario Ministry of Heritage, Sports, Tourism and Culture Industries, Canadian Heritage, City of Ottawa, High Commission of India, our gold sponsors, Phoenix Homes and Kilika IT Solutions, our culinary partners, Thali, Coconut Lagoon, India Curry and Kebab House, our media partners, CKCU FM, Asian Sounds, and CBC. Our cultural partners, Canadian Centre Mindful Habitats, Saraswati Society of Dance and Music, 
and our community partners, Indo-Canadian Community Center. Let's watch a video. Thank you all again. Without your ongoing love and support, these events would not have been possible. Now, I would like to uh, invite Professor Rao Nanduri Ji, Chair of the Great India Festival, for a vote of thanks. Thank you. It is my personal privilege and pleasure as the Chairman of the Board of Directors to thank again all the people who are involved in this magnificent production of four days of festival. First and foremost, our patrons, His Excellency Ajay Bisaria. High Commissioner of India to Ottawa. In a word, he represents the government of India and its association with the great India Festival Ottawa. His leadership, commitment, knowledge and practice of Sanatan Dharma is so admirable. I have personally benefited, as has the TGIF. We thank him from the bottom of my heart. Next is Kuku Kocher, who has been playing a stellar role in the improvement, in the reconstruction in the growth of the Great India Festival. His generosity, his influence as one of the builders of Ottawa. That's what Mayor Watson told me once. Is one of the builders of Ottawa. So no wonder he has played a role in building the TGIF also. We thank him profusely, very gratefully. Thank you, Kukuji. We would like to express our gratitude for your wonderful contribution by presenting a trophy as our humble appreciative gift to you and to pray that you continue your charitable instincts in all directions. I know how charitable you are and how the city of Ottawa will be benefiting in future for a long, long time by the construction projects you have undertaken and to dedicate to the city of Ottawa. Thank you so much. Next. Yeah the federal government, the Ontario government, Ministry of Heritage, Sport, Tourism and Culture Industries, the city of Ottawa, who over the last 10 years have been giving grants to support the goals and vision of 
TGIF, which is to build a united and better Canada. The multiculturalism aspect is worthy of emphasis. We are living in times where some societies are preferring unicultural structure. Some societies do not want any religions. Other societies truly believe in multiculturalism, where like the petals of a flower, all come together with one human progress and goal. So by supporting TGIF, whose goals are the unity of Canada, the coming together of all the cultures, learning from each other, respecting each other and growing together and building a united Canada. These goals are being supported by the grants of the various levels of the governments. All Canada is saying is, this is the way of the future. Multiculturalism is the way of the future, the future of societies to live in. And we are all dedicated to that. So we thank all levels of government for their wonderful dedication. And the next is the gold sponsors. Phoenix Homes, again, Cuckoo Kocher is the one who is responsible for it. And Kilika, Karunakar Papla, they are the gold sponsors. Now, there have been many other sponsors and supporters, all the partners, culturally, materially, aesthetically, they have supported us in so many ways. To all of them, whose names to mention will take a long time, TGIF, I thank on behalf of TGIF. Over the last 10 years, everyone who has built this organization, I want to thank them all. Well, I have to mention for this year's uh, program and production, certain volunteers who have worked so much with no ego. There is a saying, Paropakarartham idam sariram. Paropakarartham idam sariram. This body, this life is meant to be of service to others. Therein lies the meaning of life. Otherwise, we are all like animals. This is the great difference. Compassion, love, these are the cardinal service. These are the cardinal virtues according to Brihadaranyaka Upanishad. Therefore, all these volunteers are now, I'm going to mention individually because they don't get paid. They give hundreds of hours of their personal life as a sacrificial gift to TGIF, that is, to Canada. So here are the names of the volunteers I would like to mention in particular. Surendranath Murumulla, Gomati Burada, Priya Chandran, Arvita Agarwal, Sri Lakshmi Sudhish Kumar, Kavita Menon, Anupama Podda, Ishant Singh, Ishani Singh, Sheila Parthanarayana, Mansi Gaur, Smita Upamaka, Cameron Collins, Rachel Millen, Karishma Arabilla, Ishan Bharadwaj, Erin Masglau, Tan David, Sean, Rhea Paul, Megan, Pallavi Swaranjali, 
प्रीति लोहाडिया सुमना आचार शेफ सचिन शेफ प्रदीप अमित चेरियन नारन लोकेश राघवेंद्र रामपुर श्वेता जोनल गड्डा करुणाकर रेड्डी पापला पल्लवी स्वरांजलि रमणा नागिने रूपा तुंगतुर्ती इन पर्टिक्युलर आई लाइक टू मेंशन द अनस्टिंटिंग एफर्ट्स एंड डिवोशन नाइट एंड डे ऑफ पीपल लाइक रमणा रूपा करुणाकर and above all ladies and gentlemen i wish to mention the unimaginably devotional services of the president of tgif bala brahmanandam madaparthi he does not know what day is what night is it is one continuous time frame for his dedication to tgif it is impossible for me without feeling a great deal of emotion how devoted he is so on behalf of the board of directors and all the people connected i not only salute bala for his dedication in efficiency i send him my greatest love because he is tgif and tgif is bala so once again in summary i thank everyone everyone over the last 10 years who have dedicated their affection love service money in whatever way volunteering in the service of tgif and you have seen over the last four days the variety east west north south all art forms look at the wonderful kaushiki chakravarti so i cannot mention just one artist or one group everyone was beautiful as colorful as india is as variegated as india is as inclusive as india is thank you so much enjoy the next program and we will see you soon you will stay with us thank you so much for joining us in this common endeavor to build a better canada let us see how much we can contribute each one of us to the greatness of canada to the vision of canada itself through the vision of the great india festival atwa namaskar thank you so much thank you so much professor ram nanduri ji for your kind words and i agree with echo each and every word that you are saying it's just uh, i think we are at the start of building a better canada um uh, including each one of us part of it so thank you so much so this was it couldn't have been a better way to end the show the way we did uh with with your kind words and i just would like to take a moment to express my heartfelt gratitude to the most important part of tgif which gives us strength and passion to come back with more creativity and that's you our audience thank you to all of you who've made us strong your love have nurtured us keep sharing your love in form of feedbacks and testimonials and and i realize that the more we uh, celebrate diversity um i realize how similar we are in sharing this we totally stay united i honor the place in you in which the entire universe de dwells i honor the place in you which is of love of truth of light of peace 
and from where gratitude flows. This is the essence of Namaste. Until we again meet again, Namaste to everyone.